Spora syringes, mycelium syringes, liquid culture syringes. What's the difference and which one should you use? Well, in this video, I'll break it down. Let's dive in. We'll start with spore syringes. Spore syringes contain millions of mushroom spores, which are like the seeds of a mushroom. They're tiny microscopic reproductive units, which contain the genetic information for the growing fungus. When introduced to a suitable substrate, like grain or sawdust, they germinate and grow into mycelium. The pros of spore syringes. They're incredibly affordable and durable. When stored properly, spores can last for years. Plus, they're also incredibly diverse. Each spore contains unique genetics, which means you could end up with a variety of new traits. So what are the cons? They require germination to grow into mycelium, which takes time, and they're more susceptible to contamination. Plus, if there's a specific trait you are looking for in the mushrooms that you are growing, these mushrooms may not have it because they'll be genetically different than the parent mushrooms that they came from. A mycelium syringe contains live mycelium suspended in a sterile solution. Mycelium is the network of thread-like structures that move throughout the substrate, digesting nutrients and eventually producing mushrooms. Think of them kind of like the roots of a plant. So what are the pros of mycelium syringes? Well, there are several advantages of mycelium syringes compared to spore syringes. The first is speed. Because mycelium doesn't need time to germinate, it can immediately start to populate the substrate that you inject it into. In addition to colonizing your substrate much faster, it's also less prone to contamination than spores, so you're likely to have a higher success rate. Another pro of using mycelium syringes is that unlike spores, it's a clone of the mushroom that it came from. So if you're looking for a specific trait like size, smell, or taste, you're gonna wanna use a mycelium syringe because you'll get exactly those traits from the parent. The cons for this type of syringe is that it's typically more expensive than a spore syringe and it has a shorter shelf life and is often needs to be stored in a refrigerator. However, it's worth noting that they typically have a longer shelf life than liquid cultures because of the nutrient-free solution they're stored in. This solution essentially keeps them dormant until they're ready to be used. Finally, let's talk about liquid cultures. I often hear liquid cultures used interchangeably with mycelium syringes, but they're not exactly the same. Liquid cultures are mycelium, but they're stored in a nutrient-rich solution. This nutrient-rich solution encourages the mycelium to grow rapidly so that by the time that you inoculate your substrate with it, they're off and running. A straight mycelium syringe, however, is stored in a sterile solution without any nutrients, essentially making the mycelium dormant. The pros of liquid culture syringes is the mycelium in them are vigorous and ready to expand rapidly when you introduce them to their substrate. Plus, they can be less prone to contamination. The cons to these types of syringes is that they have the shortest shelf life. Because they're stored in that nutrient-rich solution, while the mycelium are expanding within the syringe, if they run out of food to eat, the population of mycelium can crash. To summarize, spores are like seeds, genetically diverse, but slow to grow. Mycelium is like the cutting from a plant, a clone of the parent, fast growing and consistent in its genetics. Liquid culture is like an accelerated growth system for your mycelium, the fastest way to get your substrate going. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe for more tips on how to grow life where you live. Plus, leave in the comments if you're team spore syringe, team mycelium syringe, or team liquid culture. Bye guys.